All right, you got me. Here we are, Kaiser time. Uh, the sea lion. Yuli Henneke design. And somewhere on the back here, he's got his little logo, logo, sea lion. And it says Yuli Henneke. And if we could get, wow, I mean, we got lots of, uh, lots of light in the studio today. Um, you know, decorative ring around the pivot. Got that pinwheel, but I think it's working for this. And look at this kind of faux fur around the head. I guess that's what it is. Sea lion. And open design. Would I have liked a backspacer? Mm, maybe. I think in this one, I can let that go. I really can. I, I just like this knife. I really do. Man, this is light. It's slender. It's not real big, but it's big enough, right? I mean, it's 3.3, 3.4, 3 yeah, crap, inch blade, not quite eight inches overall. So it's like 85 uh, millimeter blade and 19 and a half centimeters overall, which equals, you know, three and three eighths and seven and, and somewhere close to three quarter, not quite. So it's not as big as like the Manex. This is a bigger knife than the Sea Lion is. And it's a much nicer knife. I mean, no, it, this, this is a much nicer knife. I really like this one. Sorry, Manny. I mean, just saying you're a little bit more mm, scruffy. But you're a good user. You're just not as proud to carry as Mr. Sea Lion is. This thing is contoured out the wazoo look at the contours look at how smooth this thing is this thing is so smooth along here it is just like silk it really is and even down here i mean just the contouring on these scales is tremendous it's just wonderful there's your lockup hardened steel insert and over travel stop if you can see through there at the right uh, at the right light reflection there's a over travel stop in here so there you go and lockup's pretty good 35 40 percent let's see it if it can get over the detent ball like that yeah it's a fairly light blade though isn't it snappy is tink it's 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 like a small knife right not a big thunk, but tink. Um, nice. Centered right up. Yep. And no blade play. I'm moving it up and down like this. No blade play, no lock rock. Not a problem there. Yeah. Cool. I like it. Any jimping on the flipper tab? Nope. But man, it doesn't matter. This is so intuitive, and this thing snaps right out. I think I might be able to gravity flip this. Hold on. Oh, wow. Wow, hold on. Oh. Yeah, and the thing is, I'm trying to do that, but I'm my, my thumb is hitting this thing, so I don't know. I'd throw it out of my hand if I didn't hold on to it like that. So it, it feels like it's about, on the detent scale, about a number five it really flips real easy but i don't know i can't i can't gravity flip it but the blade doesn't have any mass to it really so there you go i wonder what that uh let's check out what we got three and a half millimeter what we got three okay 0.115 of an inch and fatness 0.47 of an inch 12 millimeters so it's fairly slender it's as slender as the para 2 is which is this is pretty good this is pretty pocketable so yes it's fairly slender yet it feels like something that are good ergos very nice here everybody gets on board not a big long knife but still even for medium to large hands you can get your your hand on there oh I mean, is this just, I just like this design. Yuli Haneke, and then that T1 that he also did with uh, Kaiser. Wow, two really good knives. 
Really well thought out, well done. I mean, at least he's giving you a sharpening choil here. There's not like big way to go forward and stuff on this blade, but it's a small knife in any case. I wonder if we got a piece of something. Yeah, okay, S35VN. And if you wanna look at the, the online stats, uh, 7.75, 3.375 inch blade, uh, seven and three quarter overall, drop point, flat grind, satin, plain, not serrated in other words. Handle thickness, yeah, right there, titanium gray, 3.72 ounces. Well, if that's true, then then that's really good. Uh, then that's way under four ounces, which it does feel light. Yuli Haneke design, really nice. Um, is one of my favorite Kaisers. Uh, and if I had to pick a small Kaiser, a small Kaiser, yeah. Yeah, this is my favorite small Kaiser. Really good action. Haven't ever taken it apart. Really haven't carried it much. I've had it on my table <laughs> uh, for months and months and never got around to putting this on video. Don't know why I think I was playing a game with myself, which is once I review it, then I can't justify not selling it off and recouping my money. So I just didn't want to review it because I didn't want to sell it off. You know, this is just one of those knives. I don't know why it's not that significant in, you know, things. I mean, the paramilitary, huge, significant knife in the in the blade world, you know, uh, the Benchmade Griptilian, huge, significant knife in the, you know, so those might be ones that you would totally understand somebody wanting to have one in their permanent collection. This one, a little bit more obscure, really. You know, Kaiser itself being not quite the recognizable brand by many people. Uh, oh, really comes out. Inner box that's black, crush proof. In that is also the zipper pouch and the polishing cloth, the whole thing in here. So, you know, really well done from a packaging standpoint. You've got a nice pocket clip here. And it's reasonably flexible for a milled pocket clip, but really you got to do that. A stamped clip on here, I would just like, what were you thinking? No, this is perfect. This is good and it doesn't overtake the entire design. I would say the only thing that you need to think about, depending on how long your fingers are, is keeping your fingers uh, without amputating them. Because what I've done before is, yeah, your hand, because the height of this handle is so shallow, when you put your fingers out front to, to drop the blade shut, you might have them curled right across and you might just take the ends of them off. So keep that in mind because I've just felt it sweep past the tip of my finger and then I notice and I go, oh my God, I guess I need to pay attention. I just about took them off. So, you know, that's just one thing when you have not see how my fingers are kind of yeah and they did and it just rubbed the the ends of them when it came shut and then it woke me up and I'm going oh okay let's not do that anymore so that's what you get when you do that and that's brings up another point that might be important to kind of think about um you know it's not a lot of real estate in your pocket front to back is it that's an inch that's it that's an inch 1.11. Okay, go clear out to the flipper tab and come in. 1.35, which is 34 millimeters. Down here, 24 millimeters. 25.8. 20, yeah, 20, 25, somewhere in there. Not much, is it? I mean, and <laughs> without the blade there, there is way less. So 17 millimeters, which is only, you know, seven tenths of an inch at best right here. 
So it's it's really thin. So in a way, yeah, I can get that you kind of your fingers wrap around and around and around. And it's not the height that will give you the comfort that you would have with a taller handle where your fingers don't <laughs> continue on. I get that, although, I mean, I can forgive a lot because this is a slender knife, so this is a different thing. A little bit more sophisticated carry. And I just, man, I think he knocked it out of the park with his design. I really do. Oh, we never did put it on the scale to confirm that, but I think we will. I think we'll be okay. I think we're going to start out at grams here. Okay. So 102, not much there, is it? 3.6. Oh, it feels heavy. Just kidding. Okay, now, yeah, that's, that's light. That's really light. Light, slender, not real long. Uh, this is, uh, you know... I, I mean, I've had like the booze blade, you know, the mini, the arrow mini and stuff like that. And really, uh, depending on what you pay for this, but I mean, I think Blade HQ had them for like 178 So, I mean, this has got a lot of class and a lot of sophistication too. I really like that mini, uh, the arrow from booze blades, but, and the smoke as well. But, you know, I think I'd prefer this to the smoke, actually. And I did have the smoke. I had it in all black, and I had it in green. And uh, it was a front flipper, so mm, no, definitely this over that. But the Mini, the Arrow Mini, that's ah, pretty classy, too. This one, I think I'd really have to probably default back to this again. I really do like it. Really nice. Not as probably light as the arrow mini so hmm just depends and depends on your taste but man that's some really fine smooth contouring there i mean the action's just great on this knife even for a light blade it sets right back down in there really well you know nice really ah had to get that off my chest i've had this thing sitting for months, and I'm like, and eh, nah, I'm not going to review that yet. I'll keep it a little longer. I'll keep it a little longer. <sighs> That's one of those ones I think about when I think, you know, if I have to just choose a few Kaiser knives out of the the pack to put in a, you know, in a mixed uh, collection that would be long term. Uh, I, this is one of my f favorite Kaisers. Definitely my favorite small Kaiser. So far, there's always a new flavor out there coming down the road. You never know. All right. Thank you so much. I'm going to let you go. <sighs> Flanagan, you back again? Yes, you are. And you know what we do. We love them knives. So stay sharp, my friends.